The avalanche danger in the mountains is considerable, and after four skiers died last weekend in a single slide, there are a lot more people being cautious heading into the backcountry. The Utah Avalanche Center was out today helping answer some questions. New specialist Alex Cabrera was in, is in Big Cottonwood Canyon today, and he joins us live near the mouth of that canyon. Good evening, Alex. Good evening again. You know, the Utah Avalanche Center figured they would be out and visible to the public because, as you mentioned, after that deadly avalanche last weekend, they wanted to be out there in the public so that everybody heading into the backcountry could at least keep safety in the front of their minds. Where are you guys headed? It's easier to get someone's attention. Grab a cookie on your way out. Yeah, for yeah. sure. When you offer them free snacks. Take a donut. They're homemade at Smith's. <laughs> Which is why Christian Raguse awesome. had no problem talking to people today. Got to get your sugar levels back up. Yeah. Especially since what he had to tell them. So we are spreading awareness of avalanche danger today. Deserves the kind of attention empty stomachs often get. Today, the danger level is considerable. Raguse works with the Utah Avalanche Center. Howdy, howdy. Hey, hey. And today, helped his team set up an informational booth at the Spruces Campground in Big Cottonwood Canyon to let backcountry skiers know about the dangerous avalanche conditions. Much of it is up higher. Even as another snowstorm hit. So as we add more weight to the top, some of the weaker layers underneath are what we are most concerned with. And with four people who died in Utah last weekend in an avalanche and more deaths before that this year, the Utah Avalanche Center figured getting information out there, even how to use your safety equipment, could help save a life. Those who couldn't wait to get into the backcountry. I am headed to Powder Park. Sure appreciated that extra info. We're pretty lucky that we have these guys out here telling us uh, the conditions and kind of what aspects we, we should avoid and what elevations we should be careful at. Yeah, have a good day. The Avalanche Center just wants everybody to have fun, but be aware of conditions so they can make it back safe. Those snacks aren't going to eat themselves. Would you like a donut or a cookie? Ah, I do, I do. <laughs> the Utah Avalanche Center will also be at other popular trailheads in the future, trying to visit as many of them as possible when conditions are dangerous so that skiers can keep safety uh, at the forefront of their minds. You can also always go online to their website, utahavalanchecenter.org, to keep updated with the latest conditions. Dan and Debbie? You never can go wrong with some treats here. Thanks a lot. Alex Cabrera, live for us up at Conwood Canyon.